Chapter 7. Bring me to life. Author's note. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got five god reviews. Mm, BTW. I won't write the next chapter till I get tin god vons. Esto Fleming or Il Report U. Evonie isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satanist! And she has problems. She's depressed, for God's sake. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist sings on my nails and red nail polish. Author's note. See, does that sound like a Mary Sue to you? I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then, ellipses, we started Frenching passively and we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took off my top. Then I took off my black leather bra and he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked and then he put his boys thingy in mine and we had sex. See, is that stupid? Oh, Draco, Draco, I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I'd never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it, in bloody gothic writing, were the words, ellipses, vampire. I was so angry. You bastard, I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! I yelled. Chapter 8. Author's note. Stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are a prep. Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. Ebony, it's not what you think, Draco screamed sadly. My friend Bloody Mary Smith smiled at me understatedly. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. She had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother and f and her father committed suicide because he was depressed about it. She still has nightmares about it and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out her real last name is Smith and not Granger. Since she has converted to Satanism, she is in Slytherin now, not Gryffindor. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dimwit? Snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. Vampire! I can't believe you cheated on me with Draco! I shouted at him. Everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I went out with Vampire, I'm by, and so is Ebony, for a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through horrible problems and now he was gothic. Ha ha! Like I would hang out with a prep. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard, I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the forbidden forest where I'd lost my virility to Draco, and then I started to bust into tears. Chapter 9. Author's note. Stop flamming, okay? I didn't read all the books. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Besides, I said he had a headache. And the reason Snap doesn't lick Harry now is because he's Christian and Vampire is a Satanist. MCR rocks. I was so mad and sad, I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. Then all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose and everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically, like Voldemort in the movie. And he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was... Voldemort! No! I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted Imperius and I couldn't run away. Crookshanks! I shouted at him. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. Ebony! He yelled. Thou must kill Vampire Potter! I thought about Vampire and his sexy eyes and his gothic black hair and now his face looks just like Joel Madden. 
I remember that Draco had said I didn't understand, so I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. No, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. If thou dost not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. How did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude you're so retarded look on his face. I hath telekinesis, he answered cruelly. And if you doth not kill Vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. I was so scared and mad, I didn't know what to do. Suddenly Draco came into the woods. Draco! I said. Hi. Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram, get it, between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you were cheating on me. I expelled. That's okay, he said all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts together, making out. Chapter 10. Author's note. Stop it, you gay fags. If you do not like my story, then fuck off. P.S. It turns out Bloody Mary isn't a muggle after Al, and she and Vampire are evil. That's why they moved houses, okay? I was really scared about Vlodramort all day. I was even upset went to rehearsals with my gothic metal band, Bloody Gothic Rose 666. I am the lead singer of it, and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between GC, Slipknot, and MCR. The other people in the band are Bloody Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron, although we call him Diabolo now. He has black hair now with blue streaks in it. And Hargrid. Only today Draco and Vampire were depressed that they weren't coming and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably slitting his wrist. He wouldn't die because he was a vampire too and the only way you can kill a vampire is with a C-R-O-S-S. -S -S. There's no way I'm writing that or a steak. And Vampire was probably watching a depressing movie like The Corpse Bride. I put on a black leather shirt that showed off my boobs and tiny matching miniskirt that said simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. We were singing a cover of Helena, and at the end of the song I suddenly burst into tears. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asked in a concerted voice. What the fuck do you think? I asked angrily. And then I said, well, Vladimort came and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But I don't want to kill him because he's really nice, even if he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Vladimort will fucking kill Draco. I burst into tears. Suddenly, Draco jumped out from behind a wall. Why didn't you fucking tell me? He shouted. How could you? You, you fucking poser muggle bitch. See, is that out of character? I started to cry and cry. Draco started to cry, too, all sensitive. Then he ran out crying. We practiced for one more hour, then suddenly Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fiery, and I knew this time it wasn't cause he had a headache. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. See, that's basically nut swearing, and this time he was really upset, and you will see why. Ebony, Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists.